Um, it, anytime you win 3-0, it's a good night. Um, I think it was, we've been on the road for a really long time. Um, and I think there were more jitters, nerves, and that because we haven't played at home. Um, Troy is a very good team. They're very well coached. They had an unfortunate injury this morning and had to rearrange their lineup with only one middle on the court. And I thought at times it kind of caught us off more off guard than it did them. Um, so I was hoping we could adjust a little bit sooner. But again, I, I thought to win 3-0 against a good team is, is a good night. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, like you said, it was very impressive winning uh, 3-0. But it seemed like every match was pretty back and forth. Uh, I'm just wondering, what do you think put you guys over the top tonight at, in every one of those matches or sets? Um, Samantha Bond had a really good night, you know, she had 15 kills and hit a 519, that's pretty good. Um, I, I thought if we could have settled a little bit more with the serve pass game, I thought we were too high air, uh, but I thought our offense, again, we hit a 311, which is really good, so I thought our offense was where we needed it to be. We wanted our serving and our defense to be uh, just a little better, but um, again, we blocked well. I wanted to maybe dig more balls, but we're going to keep getting better each day. And then what do you think made uh, both Samantha and Ryan both successful uh, tonight? Yeah, they, they've been working hard. Um, again, they, they work hard every day. They, they know the standard in our gym. Uh, they're both competitors. And, you know, the, the thing we keep talking about is every match is a championship level. The last couple of years, we've been one, one match away. And so every match counts like we're playing for a championship. And so I think these two do a really good job of doing their job on the court with what they're supposed to do, but also bringing the team in and keeping everyone focused. And then uh, Ryan, in what was likely your last uh, home opener, uh, what kind of emotions come with that? Oh, I didn't even, I didn't uh, realize it like that. <laughs> um, well, now that you said that, I mean, bittersweet, you know, like, I, um, I take in every moment playing at home. It's such a, you know, different culture from a lot of different environments, and so I just soak it in every single home game. <laughs> and then, uh, Samantha, for you, uh, did just like waiting so long to like start your, the first home game this year. Uh, yeah, like you said, were there more jitters with that? Uh, did you like have a different mindset on the game? I mean, we've had a long, long trip away from home and it's been a lot of travel, a lot of stress on all of us. And so I think we were all just super excited coming into this weekend, knowing we're playing a good team and, and being at home is just like incredible. The, the crowd tonight was, incredible we had such a good atmosphere in our gym and like that's what we've been waiting for for so long so it was really exciting and then uh just for all of you guys uh what did you guys notice tonight that you can take with you tomorrow uh just so looking for back-to-back -back victories over Troy yeah again I, I don't think that middle's gonna be back I think they're gonna do the same lineup or maybe they do something different right they're they're really well coached though they can do the game plan that their coach sets up for them um and so we're just gonna I think for me the biggest thing is we got to win the serve pass game I think we win the serve pass game tomorrow we can separate ourselves just a little bit more but we know again Troy is a very good team it's always us and them towards the top of the west and so um it's gonna be a battle but we're gonna get some rest and Watch this film and be ready to go.